Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Toy, a critic for Filmbook. Today I will be reviewing the movie Black Box. Black Box is directed by... Okay, I'm gonna have to read the names here because these names are very hard for me to pronounce and if I get them wrong, please forgive me. <laughs> but uh, this movie, Black Box, is directed by Emmanuel Ose Kufour. Okay, it was written by the director as well as Stephen Herman and it stars Mamundo Athi, Felicia Rashad, and Amanda Christine. So the main character, Emmanuel, I'm not going to pronounce his last name again, but I've got to say he is the only reason I would watch this movie again. It's the story of a man who gets in a car accident, loses his wife, and he undergoes treatment because he has also lost his memory as well. It's one of those plots that I feel like it's been done time and time again. And so because of that, it didn't really add anything new to this particular type of story. Yes, there were some creepy elements. There were a couple of creepy images, which I really enjoyed, uh, but they were not spread throughout. They were just sort of packed into one little 10-minute uh, segment just here and there. But again, I have to continually go back to the performance of Emmanuel, the lead character of this movie. I don't think I've seen him in anything else. I've looked up his filmography, and it's a bunch of movies that I have intended to go see, but just haven't gotten around to it. But... Man, watching this performance here made me really want to go and see those movies that I haven't yet seen. I can't talk too much about this movie without spoiling a lot. The whole movie is kind of a J.J. Uh, Abrams, you know, wrapped up. Uh, it's a mystery box. And the fun of the movie is having this mystery box unwrapped for you. It's having it opened and you're discovering one piece at a time. The little girl that played his daughter, very good actress. I loved the acting in this movie. I feel like everybody put forth their full 100%. But it goes back to the story. It just... It felt so small time. It felt like it should have been an episode of Black Mirror. The stakes weren't big enough. I didn't know enough about the characters to really care about them. And I don't feel like I got to know the characters throughout the movie. And so my compassion and my care that I think I would have had for these characters otherwise just wasn't there. But for one of those movies where the guy loses his memory and he's trying to figure things out along the way, it's not bad. I feel like the music was very appropriate when needed to be. The director had a very specific way of going and I give him huge props for that. At no point did I feel like he was trying to make one movie and then another movie and just didn't know where or what he was trying to do and did he get lost along the way. No, I didn't feel that at all. I felt like he was very direct and he had a very singular focus in mind when making this movie. And that is a rarity, I feel like, in directors. So not wanting to unpack too much, I'm gonna go ahead and give this movie a six out of 10. And that brings us to the conclusion of my review for Black Box. I'd like to thank you for watching and you can watch more of my reviews here at Filmbook, that's film book.com and you can just type in Andrew Toy and you can see my other reviews. You can also find older movie reviews on my YouTube channel at Andrew and Sarah Beth Toy. And if you liked what you've seen here, hit the thumbs up, smash the subscribe button, and ring that bell to get alerts for upcoming videos. Also, if you agree or disagree with my review, go ahead and leave your comments down below and we'll have a discussion. Please also consider becoming a patron on our Patreon. The link is in the description below and your support helps us to continue to create engaging content for you in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.